Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. To get a hold of me, simply call the office at 303-684-3404. As we get started today, I want to give a personal shout out. Just want to say hi to my mom who's watching today. Okay, this is a 2016 Freightliner M2 106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. This truck has just a little over 83,000 miles. And we're going to start today by taking a look in front. I know a lot of people that are comparing these trucks are also kind of in the market for a pickup. They just want a vehicle that's going to be safe to tow in and last a long time. Well, this is the safest towing vehicle on the market, and I'll prove that throughout our video today. So let's start by taking a look at the top and working our way down. Okay, we see the orange lights on the top and we'll see them on the side as well. So at night, this truck really lights itself up. When we come down below that, we find 2,500 square inches of glass. So the advantage to that obviously is visibility. Compare that to a typical windshield that we find in a pickup truck, the comparison really isn't close. As we come on down, we see Freightliner badge located right here, plus the grill. Now, as you'll notice that the bumper is broken into three parts. Well, what's the logic behind that? If we are in an accident and get a big old dent right here, we can simply replace that part without having to do the entire bumper. And finally, below that is the Summit Hauler emblem. The Summit Hauler is created by this store right here. So wherever you see Summit Hauler, it originated right here tow hooks located here and here. Now as we take a look underneath the hood, we will find the Cummins 8.9 liter engine coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This engine offers 350 horsepower in addition to that, 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. A couple of things to see. As you'll notice, things are kind of color-coordinated. Where we see red, we're going to let the Freightliner mechanics tear into all of that. At the same time, where we see yellow, such as here, is things you and I can check. In a pre-trip inspection, we can check the oil right there. As we come on down, here's where we add power steering fluid, things of that nature. And you lock the hood up with this latch right here. We did put brand new tires on it. These are Michelin 255 80 R22.5. One thing that makes Summit Hauler unique, and there are several, but this is one. We see this drum right here? Those are tire balancers, and they're located all the way around. So that has BBs in it, plus a little bit of hydraulic fluid. And as you pick up speed, and as you gain momentum, that balances the entire rotating mass. So that does a couple of things for us. It makes it for a smoother ride, but perhaps more importantly, it's gonna extend tire life up to 40%. Now let's take a look inside the driver's seat. The first thing that grabs you is the color. All right, see how this is dark brown? It's very hard to find any vehicle anymore that the interior isn't black. This seat is both heated and vented. As we come on over, to start the truck, you're going to want to turn that key about halfway and let those gauges go all the way over and reset themselves. Just like that. And then start the truck. So that's for a couple of reasons. In the cold, such as it is now, that allows it to warm up a little bit. When it's super cold, I'll, I like to do that twice. 
just to give it a chance to warm up. In addition, by letting those gauges go all the way over and back, they reset themselves. So if you get in a hurry and start it a touch prematurely, there's a chance that it'll kick a code that simply doesn't exist. You'll see the unique color around the dash. We set the cruise over here, plus these are how bright or dim you want the lights on the dash. This is a trickle charger. So if we're at night and we want to run the DVD player, things of that nature, we can plug that into a 110 outlet and that assists the batteries in maintaining power. Two fuel tanks, one on each side. Now as the truck's sitting there, that fuel's gonna balance itself out. However, when you go to fuel up the truck, you're gonna to wanna to do that independently. Block heater located right here. Underneath here is the batteries. As we take a look in the back seat, you can see it makes down into a bed. I did check with the Division of Transportation. This does qualify as a bed. But to get it back up, simply push a button and it comes back to a normal seat. Now, let's focus on the bed of the truck. Two storage components, one here and one at the back. If we take a look up front, we can see the amount of storage, plus there's a hookup for an air hose in the front, down in the corner. The top of the bed is lined for protection, because this is a rather large investment and that helps prevent damage as the truck ages. So let's take a look directly behind. Let's start at the top, work our way down. We will see the backup camera located right up there. As we come on down the summit hauler badge, <coughs> as you can see, there's a gooseneck ball in here and ready to go. This bed is made of aluminum. That's not steel. So as the truck ages, it's going to look very similar to what it does today. The backup camera uses the Voyager system. If you want to hook up a couple additional cameras to it, you can do it right here. Underneath here is where you hook up your lights for your trailer. Now I want to make something clear. Cosmetically, this truck isn't perfect. Okay, It was used for work. The previous owner uh, sells and installs tiny houses. So this truck has a little wear to it. And I just want to be upfront and honest about that. As you can see here, there's some scratches on the bed. Plus, if we come on down, there's a dent right here. The truck was taken through the shop where it was thoroughly inspected by Freightliner certified mechanics. And we had to do some, some things just to get it to as close to new as possible. But I can tell you from a mechanical standpoint, this truck is very, very solid. So as we work our way down, let's just step back and kind of take a view of the truck on the side view profile. And some of the things I mentioned earlier, see the orange lights running across the bottom? So as mentioned, at night, this truck really lights itself up. And as you can see, it's a dark brown in color which also makes it unique. One other thing about the summit hauler conversion is we put extra weight over that rear axle up to a thousand pounds. And as you can see, obviously this truck isn't balanced because the front end is so much heavier than the back end. So by putting extra weight over the rear axles, that's gonna help prevent slippage, say if we're, it's raining and hydroplaning. Furthermore, if we find ourselves in mud, with a little extra weight down there, that really helps in terms of traction and getting ourselves out of that. As we take a look in the passenger seat, you'll notice just how much room and space you have sitting in that passenger seat. That coupled with the fact that the front end is air ride really makes those 12, 13 hour trips seem like nothing. Underneath here is access 
to the cab air filters. As we progress on and take a look at the, that's locked. The back seat, give me a second. That should not be. Take a look at the back seat. We can see the DVD player. Let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Okay, again, we'll start at the top and work our way down. Storage component located right across the front. Right up here is the backup camera. So I really like how that is situated. So all you have to do is take a look up and you can see. So we never have to take our eyes very far away from the steering wheel. As we come on down, intermittent marker lights right here. This is an automatic transmission, simply R for reverse. Right now we're in neutral and D for drive. This truck comes with hydraulic brakes. Here's for the windows. As we come on over, mirror heater located right here. This is the engine brake. So in the middle, it's off. Down is low, up is high. So when we have that on high and we're going down a sharp decline, that's gonna affect all six cylinders. So in a sense, you have over 300 horsepower coming back at you. This is the dump valve that takes all of the air out of the rear end of the truck. So an example of when you would use that is when you go to hook up your trailer, let all the air out back underneath where you want it to be, put the air back in and that lifts up the, tra the back end of the truck to hook up your trailer. Locks located right here. These two, and this is for the fan that blows air into the back. So red is for heat, blue is for cold. As we come on down and take a look at the climate control located right here. Trailer brake located right here. Now on the side right here, you will see to put either heated or vented seats. In addition to that, it allows air into the back of the seat. It comes with a CB radio located right here. This is stock number 5U211939. If you have any other questions about the vehicle, please give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.